everybody, Nate Lee here, and I've got three pro tips for you. The first one is if you learn just a couple licks from a song and then stop, uh, people will think you know the song. I don't know that song. The second one is to hit that like button and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. And now for the third one. Uh, by the way, I'm in my new place. Uh, we moved to Cranston, Rhode Island. Uh, we were down by the beach for a while while we were looking for houses. and. Here it is, we've moved and I don't have the lights completely set up in my office. If you watched last week's videos, uh, you can probably see the subpar lighting, but we just got everything moved in so I'll be able to set up my lights because I'll be able to find them. So here we are in my very bright kitchen. Uh, so anyway, uh, stay tuned as I set up the studio. I'm really excited to get it set up and work on the backdrop and lighting and all that stuff. So pro tip three, this is to tune up and not down. And if you're a beginner or even some intermediate and advanced students have not encountered this advice uh, or maybe have encountered it and wondered, what do you mean tune up and not down? If I keep tuning up, I'm just going to get sharper and sharper till the strings break. And you're right. So don't do it that way. Uh, first, I'm going to tell you what I mean by tune up and not down, why this is important. So when you're tuning, if you tighten up like that, If you tighten up the string like that, the gears pull together. It pulls that string and the gears pull together and hold that string tight. But when you loosen the string, you tune down, there's a problem. When you tune down, what happens is those gears, they're going the opposite direction and it leaves a little bit of what we call slop in the gears. That's empty, loose movement in the gears. So it's kind of like on most bicycles when you start to pedal backwards, then the chain starts to loosen and get all messed up. This is what happens when you tune down. So if, you're, if your string is tuned too sharp, you can't just tune down because what's gonna happen is after you tune down, it's gonna seem fine for a while. You'll go to your jam, you'll be playing along, you feel like you're in tune, everything's going great, and then suddenly you're gonna hear that string pull flatter. And the reason for that is that it's gonna close those gears up and it's going to end up lowering your string and you're going to be out of tune again. So what you need to do instead, you gotta get the right neck twist. Oh, it's my little buddy crying up there. He's having trouble falling asleep right now. Or maybe he just is really sad when people tune down instead of up. Oh yeah, very, very sad, but it's all right. His mama's going to see him. So what you've got to do instead We'll wait. So what you've got to do instead is if you are tuned sharp, like that, so I've got one A string that's good and one that's sharp, then to tune down, you need to tune down below your target note. So if you're here and you want to be here, you need to tune down to here first and then bring it up. Like that, again, gonna have that right little neck twist. And these strings are shot, so I'm not gonna to try too hard to get them completely in tune. I really need to change these and uh, do another string testing video. These are actually the MAPES uh, custom medium style set, uh, what Daddario would call the custom medium. These are the MAPES custom medium. Um, and I put them on and they were really great strings, but I wore them out before I had time to make a video. So stay tuned. I will make a video. I'm posting all the string testing videos on this channel as well, including the ones that I already did. So keep an eye out. So you got to tune down below and then bring it up. The way you do that is if you've already got one note in tune, one of your A strings, for instance, you can listen to that one. And as you do that, tune up your other one until it's in tune. And if you overshoot it, you just got to go back again and do it again. That's why you're seeing when you watch your favorite players on stage, that's why you're seeing them do this thing is because they're tuning up and not down. So start doing that. You're going to be happy you did. You're going to be more in tune and uh, let me know after you've tried it if you notice a difference and uh, if you have any other tuning tips, drop them down in the comments as well. Again, I don't know that song. All right, bye everybody.